Hey guys, Nick here, and today I'm bringing you the second episode of the Roads of 500 Mill series. And as you see right now, I'm just doing a quick farm run. This is probably how I'll start every video, uh, just with a quick farm run. That way I can give my time a little bit of time to explain uh, what I really did over this in um, the last three days, I guess it was, last three, four days. So basically constantly did farm runs um, over and over again. And I plan on uh, actually keeping those grimy snapdragons until I finish all 100 seeds that I bought. And I'll show you guys the complete amount of herbs I get from all of them. And I've made quite a bit of money from them. I still have them all right now. Uh, after that, I went to Revenants. So you guys will see some Rev content here. I'm actually doing a Divine Herb patch right now. Um, I did a lot of Revs. I did a crap ton of Barrows. So I didn't show all chests I did. I did around 30 to 40 chests uh, just yesterday. And so I didn't show all of them. I just showed really any drops that I got. Um, so starting off here, Revs. Uh, just came up here with full bat wing with a polypore staff. I was collecting all coins just because I can, and ended up getting a Zami medallion, uh, which is 100k. And so I didn't really come into Revs thinking I was really going to get a drop. I know it's really hard to get a drop here. And the prices aren't great either. Not like hardly anybody uses PvP armor anymore. Um, it was just a different change of pace. I used to come up here all the time, so I figured I'd come up here uh, just for shits and giggles. I ended up getting another Sammy medallion. And if you want to try difficult killing things, like these things regenerate health so fast, you'll get to KO them, or you're you just can't kill them. So as you see here, a nice little KO. And bam, got a Stadius Warhammer. And this was the actual first trip I got. Uh, so it was maybe the fifth kill. Uh, there's other ones I got after that. And so unfortunately, once again, with the uh, nobody uses them. Um, so it's 8 mil GE price. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to sell that for that price. But I'll show you guys what I sold it for. Um, so I was just doing a herb run or a, a farm run or whatever. And I was over at my friend CJ's house. He's like, yeah, you should go do that uh, mini game thing. I totally forgot about this. It's a monthly uh, thing you can do. So I end up building the damn thing. I uh, get some really nice construction XP. I got 12K construction XP. You can pick what other uh, stat you would like and ended up picking Slayer. Got quite a bit there. And um, as you see here, I was uh, buying some more auras. Uh, since I'll be doing a lot of farm runs, I ended up buying all of the green fingers. Um, which give you a better percentage for getting more, um, herbs or anything from when you're doing it. So, freaking Jagex changed the, uh, way you buy your auras. You have to go to the freaking, like, Solomon's General Store website, and it was annoying as shit. Because I was trying to do it without going on there, but had to, so, um, it was whatever. But this is just me buying all of them all the way up to Supreme, and... So, you know, I have Supreme Green Fingers or whatever. Kind of weird name for it, but it's all good. So, I did want to go buy some things uh, before I went around to getting... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now. I'm just kind of looking around. But, um, I, d I wanted to get back some of the things I recently had. So, uh, went right now I'm going to buy the Herblore Skill Cape. I haven't had it prior to this because I got 99 and started the series, so I didn't even get to buy the cape yet, so I decided that would be the first cape I buy, um, it's pretty beautiful, end up doing the skill cape emote here, uh, yeah, it took me forever to find it, there we go, and I made shit, and so, um, went into GE, um, as you can see, I had the stat mall there, uh, waiting to be sold, and I wanted to get some more living minerals, so I could go AFK while doing homework and whatnot, and, then I was like, you know what, I really got to buy a better setup now. I have more money. Um, I can really buy some better items. Um, obviously, this is after the stat Warhammer sold. Ended up selling for 5 mil. Um, I'm not sure if I... I think I accidentally deleted that clip. I hope I didn't. It should be in here um, towards the end. But I uh, ended up buying a bunch of runes so I could actually get set up and go down to Bearers. As you can see, a Gano Poncho was... 2.3 mil like that's expensive as shit i don't remember the last time it was that expensive so uh that was actually quite a bit of money just getting that alone and so after a good long time of doing homework 
I had quite a bit of rocktails to sell. And so 546 right there. Um, after that, I uh, decided to go do some dungeoneering. I really want to unlock my chaotic weapon. So I really need to start doing that. So if I haven't explained that yet. So what I have to do to unlock my chaotic, I need to get 2 mil dungeoneering XP. As you see, I, should, I have the uh, skill counter right off to the right. So I have my XP counted, and I also spent all the tokens uh, prior to this series as well. I put it all on XP, which I know is a total waste of using tokens, but um, for this series I decided I'd just do that. Um, so if anybody is looking to Dungeoneer, I really need people to Dungeoneer with me, otherwise I'm just trying to find random people. Uh, so if you're above 80 Dungeoneering, preferably because I'd like to do occult floors, and um so i need anybody that is willing to do the occults with me uh really appreciate it you can just pm me in game uh just add me at silvix um you can see the name down below s-i-l-v-i-c-s because i'm really looking for people to dungeoneer with and um if i don't have i need to get the two mil xp somehow so i'd rather do it with people i know um people that watch my videos makes it a lot quicker and easier and more fun to do. Um, so as you see here, just doing a large floor. It only took us about 20 minutes with random people, uh, which I guess isn't too bad. Um, really wasn't awful, but um, I actually really enjoyed getting back into doing dungeoneering. Um, I pushed really hard for it the double XP weekend, double token weekend. Uh, that's how I got my first chaotic, and. So I decided I'm actually going to try and push for that more uh, by the next episode. I really hope to be almost on the 2 mil XP I need because I, once I get the Chaotic Mall, that opens up pretty much anything I would like to do. I'd be able to do anything with Melee. Um, I'd be able to go do Slayer more often. I could actually start working on QBD, uh, which I need to get uh, 10 kills for to get the Royal Crossbow. Um, considering I don't have good gear, I've never really done QBD to a full extent of pushing for a lot of kills. So that'll be, excuse me, the most kills I've gotten at QBD if I get to 10 kills, uh, for the series. So that would unlock the Royal Crossbow, and once that's unlocked, um, I could pretty much do whatever with range as well. Uh, so Slayer will be a big thing I'd like to do, and also start doing more conventional bosses as well. So... Uh, here's us finishing this floor and up getting 67k XP and as you see as of right now I have 36k tokens um, So in return that unlocks the arcane stream necklace, which I already have um, So basically I need to get the equivalent amount of tokens for me to unlock it I also have a bone crusher so that unlocks the bone crusher don't use it really for anything um, So yeah, then I started to do slight or uh bearers now and i started off just using my batwing body i didn't have the gano poncho yet i was really hoping i could get it for a little bit cheaper unfortunately i wasn't able to so i had to overprice it and buy it for like 2.5 mil or something like that um so i was just using the wanda treachery with the grafalic orb and i have a polyport in the bank i figured this would be more effective using runes not in a long shot uh, once I had the Gano Poncho with the Polypore staff, you don't need to bring anything else. As you see, I have a whip here. I haven't done Barrows in so damn long. I had no clue what to expect for RS3 especially. Um, so bringing a whip is a total waste of time. Like with a Polypore, I make the kill is just as quick as any other uh, brother in here. So um, it was really stupid for me to bring the Wanda Treachery and... Uh, the Grafalic Orb and Runes when I could just bring the Polypore and hit just as high. So, uh, I read somewhere that getting 13 kill count gives you a better chance of getting drops. I never really knew that as well. Um, so, as you see here, I'm just killing uh, the Crypt Rats while I uh, get that kill count. And then I can go through the rest of the doors. So, when you go through Barrows, you just want to work your way to the middle. And definitely try and remember your path the way you got in. And that's how you can really do this effectively. I would get like 10 to 20 chests and a trip. So as you see here, you got to put in the secret thing. And then you got to kill this. As you see, I don't know why the fuck I was using a whip on a mage thing. Because that does not hit dick. 
Um, but as I said, I really found a more effective way with the stuff I have just to fly through. So um, start looting the chests and get the hell out of here. So now I'm just going to show a few chests now and um, go through here. And then you find your way out uh, whatever way you came. I cut out that part because I didn't feel like just watching guys or have you guys watch me just follow all the way through where I'm going. Um, but yeah, so doing bearers, I really found an efficient way to do it. I had a lot more fun doing it, um, but it's so easy. It's almost like Dagonoth Kings. Now they're really easy and simple to do. And so I'm not too sure what I'll be able to do next episode. If I'll do more, uh, bearers or not. I was really hoping to get like a Aram's Wand or a book. That'd be freaking awesome. Or the pistol crossbows at all, at, as well too. So they're really good to get as well. Um, otherwise the other drops have really became non-important. They're not really good items to have anymore. So otherwise outside of that. Uh, there's really no point coming back to bearers for me. So I'll try to capitalize uh, on the money I made here and move on to something else. And as you see right here, just got the Horrocks play legs. And I had no clue I even had them until I got to the bank. And I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> I got these. So um, I didn't really get to price check them on vid for you guys. And here was my first uh, loot on a trip. I ended up getting at the Horrocks plate or the Harks Axe, and the Torax Helm as well. So, very excited for that. That was awesome to get a double, because it's not common that you get a double, even a drop in general. Um, even though the prices have really gone down the toilet, eh, it doesn't make it any better, but uh, still pretty awesome. And so right now, I'm just going to go through and sell everything that I had in excess in the bank. So that means all the runes, pretty much. I don't need them. Uh, same with the bolt racks and the DH items, I, or the bearers items I got, um, including the Wanda Treachery. I'm just going to stick with the Polypore Staff. Uh, I find it more efficient, and I just like it better. That's just me. And so I had some other rock tails that I fished, and the Rune Ore that I did in the first episode. Um, so pretty much, I'm not too sure what I'll do next episode. Uh, I've kind of just made this, I'm like, well, um, don't know what else I'm going to do. Uh, for money making wise so if you guys have any suggestions uh, definitely let me know I really would like to incorporate ideas that you guys have and would like to see put into the series um, for any money making or if you're just curious how it'll, it'll turn out I can try it out um, see how it starts off if it doesn't go too well I can just stop and do something else um, but I'm really hoping to get Slayer started soon I really miss doing Slayer and hopefully actually starting some better PVMing next episode as well. Uh, hopefully doing some Dagonoth Kings. Hopefully um, maybe even do some Corp if I could get a Zami Spear. But I really got to look at collectively what would be more effective for me to get uh, armor-wise before I do that. Um, so those are kind of things I think about when I'm going through. If there's one better thing I could buy instead of another, I could do that. Um, maybe even some regular monster killing, for example, green dragons, blue dragons, um, anything like that. If you guys would like to see that, I could do that. Uh, I know bones are very expensive right now, and crafting is very hard to do as well. Since there aren't any bots, all the prices for the dragon hides have gone through the roof, along with the bones. Um, so that's pretty much that. And otherwise, that really just leaves me to fishing rock tails and farm runs. Um, outside of that, <laughs> I haven't really thought of anything else yet. Uh, as I said, I can't merchant, I can't go through, um, other players to make money. For example, buying items from friends that I'm having trouble getting in the GE. I cannot do that. That would just be dumb. So just looking through the bank real quick. All I have are some prayer pots I got from that. Um, move my gold chinchampa thing out. So I'm taking out the Bone Crusher. I already have the Arcane Stream out of that. So that's my tab where are things I don't have unlocked yet. Um, so as you see, here's my Herb tab, my Farm tab, whatever you'd like to call it. Uh, as well with the fishing stuff I have as well. And just a Pendant tab. And right now, so this is what I'm looking at for my items in my bank. Pretty much everything is the full Gano. That's pretty much all I have so far. And ended up trying to uh, get rid of that whip after this episode. 
uh, right now actually. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, if there's anything you would like to see better involved, uh, definitely let me know. Um, but until next time, guys, peace out.